those opposition party leaders who are supporting Mr. Tan Kin Lian say they are supporting him because he's an independent candidate. How can Tan Kin Lian say he is an independent candidate when he's dependent on those opposition party leaders? What sort of independence is that? There's a danger that he's going to be manipulated by those leaders of the opposition parties. They even went so far as to say that those who are supporting him may be appointed as advisors to the Council of Presidential Advisors. So the time has come. In fact, it is a matter of great urgency that from this presidential election onwards, we should have a non-partisan president. If we don't do that at this presidential election, we are going to be trapped into this quagmire, into this quicksand, where every time there's a presidential election, it becomes a proxy a general election. So I'm very concerned that this has happened. We must put a stop to it, Singaporeans. We must not allow this to continue. Because to do so <clears throat> would compromise the office of the president. It would make it very difficult for us to have a president who will truly safeguard our reserves who will truly uphold the integrity of the public service and who will unify the people of Singapore. I'm hoping that enough Singaporeans will not stand for this nonsense, will not stand for this, you know, what I would call a, a discrediting, a dishonouring of the presidency. That is a very dangerous position to take. To say that we should be prepared to disclose the total size of our reserves. The reserves of Singapore is our financial defense in times of war. It is no small matter. It is also a defense against any speculative attack on the Singapore dollar. If people attack the Singapore dollar as they did to the Indonesian rupiah, to the Malaysian ringgit, to the Thai baht, it will have very damaging consequences for the Singapore economy. I just want to find out more about them and just to see them in person and to see how their interactions with people are like uh, before casting my vote. I brought the GIC book and I asked Mr Ng to help me autograph the book. Um, it's been a place I want to work at GIC, I'm applying for the scholarship and I think his story of running for president just really inspires me. I think he is positioning himself as a non-partisan candidate, uh, different from the other two candidates and I think that's his strength but we have to see other aspects of the candidates to before we make a decision.